Hey gang, Jason here with House of Jacobs Gaming coming to you with another review. I know if you're seeing me in the same shirts because I'm doing several reviews in the same day. Or this time we're looking at the Govi RGB IC uh, Glide Lively Lights. Essentially, these are bar lights that you can put up. They have a lot of similar capabilities of music dancing and and uh, picking out what scenes you want and such, but they are in bar form. So we're gonna open these up and we'll get into that right now. All right, gang, just before we open these up, I just wanna make a quick adjustment. These are called the Govi Glides LED wall lights. It does say a bunch of other stuff on there but it is part of the Glide collection that they have. They have several other uh, collections like this as well. Hex, hex lights, which we'll be going over in another, in another video as well. And a lot of other ones that have bends and stuff. I went with these ones. They have two different, um, it'll be two different lights when we're done. So inside the box, it's very simple user manual. Your journey begins with Govi. You can connect and go through all their social medias and such. Let's get down to what, what's important though. We've got the adapter, right? Very simple adapter. It should have two plugs on it to go to two different light strips because once we're done with these, uh, we're going to be able to have two different strips. So this goes to, oh, one controller. I think the control box probably has two different tension things. Essentially, this is six straight pieces. They have ones that also come with uh, corners and such. These are your pads for connecting it to the wall. And this is your alcohol pads to help clean the wall off. It says to put them on a very smooth surface. So if you're gonna have a bunch of texture, that might not be the best way to go. But in also the adapters, I don't know why it's so hard for me to open these things. Shouldn't be. So this will be the adapter. It also has a 3M stick and this is your speaker just like in the other Gobi products on uh, different modes. And I believe this is a brightness button. Outside of that, you have two different things that'll come off. So this is more like a Y than it is. So this will plug in to here. So, and then you have a Y. With that as well, you're looking at just the strips. And like I said, there's six of them. I'm gonna be setting them up three and three. You can set them up, I believe, in one big long one if you want, or you have the ones that come with the corners because the corners essentially just plug in the right here or right here, and then you have the where it'll curve. So they have another set. I'll, I'll put all these sets down below. They have another set that has one curve. Then they have another set that has uh, two curves, I believe, giving you a total of eight pieces. That'll be three long pieces and... Um, three long pieces like this, and then a bunch of curved pieces. So you're gonna have to be careful. This one is an end piece. You can see there's nothing to plug into. So these just kind of plug in just like that. And then they would go. And again, these had, you already have the sticky stuff on here. So if you're having problems getting them stuck, I believe these are extra ones in case you have to uh, move these or whatever. That's pretty neat. So let's get into my daughter's room where I'm setting these up and get them set up. So getting them up on the wall is fairly easy. It's just taking some 3M tape. I'm gonna let you know, you probably need to measure out where you're gonna put them and actually mark on the wall. They do have a little bit of play, but I, it drove me nuts that once I stuck these to the wall, it was very, very difficult to get back off. And it is like a little Velcro pad on, uh, on one side and the uh, attachment to the light bar on the other but adjusting it once it's on the wall is very difficult. Not a horrible thing once you have them set up and you want them where they're at, but I have them here. So now I'm gonna turn them on and connect them to my phone so I can be able to use them. So once they're on, they normally pop up in uh, like a different mode. It doesn't matter what mode it pops up in because you're just gonna go to do the same thing. There's a device ad right here. Right here, you're gonna hit this device ad button. You're gonna go to indoor lighting and these ones are the Glide, Govi Glide Wall Lights. Are these are the Glide Wall Lights or the Lively Wall Lights? Don't worry if you pick the wrong one as I just did. Um, it 
it won't pick it up. So it did pick up the H610 alphas, which are what we have. You click that, it will connect to them with Bluetooth, and then it'll want you to pair them by, by quickly pressing the button. So let's do that. Okay, we push the power button, it came on. You can name these whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna leave them at like this for now. We're gonna go to done. Then it wants you to test the position. Um, we had, I had problems messing with this earlier, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with position correct. If it locks up on you, it's okay. You can get to all the settings from here as well. So as you can see here, you can still go through, go to your settings. You can go to position swap if you need to, and that swaps which side is which. And then if you wanna test which one's on which side, all you have to do is look and see how the gradient is. So if we wanna swap these around, actually uh, we'll pick some of these here and we'll change this to green and that should change the ones on that side to red and green and it does. So you know what, you know you have the right position. When it comes to Wi-Fi, you can do your Wi-Fi through here as well. Go to Wi-Fi settings, I'm not gonna show you. Put in your Wi-Fi info, hit connect to Wi-Fi and as long as you have a signal back in your back room, which I have been having issues with, you'll be able to connect it to Wi-Fi. Mine's failing because I just don't have the uh, signal back here. I gotta get a repeater. Either way, you can also go in to your, when in your device settings, you can do your assistance, set them both up. They have guides here on how to run you through that. Unfortunately, because I cannot get to the Wi-Fi, I can't show you, but I do, want to show you this. So we can do the refresh light segments. And what that does is say something got stuck somewhere along the way, or you had one of them unplugged, you'll just hit that refresh button. It runs through, connects them all, and shows you, hey, these are connected, right? We're gonna turn the brightness down slightly so we can see what the heck we're doing. All right, so uh, they have the music mode. And as you can see, as I talk, it lights up, you have one, two, three, four, uh, about 11 different music modes. Let's do it, oh, wow. So whatever music you have on, any talking, any noise, it'll pick up. That's why you wanna make sure I put my microphone and controller right here. I'll show you right now. I put it right here on the top of the area and the microphone's about over here. You wanna make sure you have it in an area where it's actually going to pick up noise. If it's behind something, it'll be harder for it to pick up any noise. It's just a very tiny hole that picks up the microphone. And as you can see, it is going insane right now while I'm talking. You also have different colors as we showed you. You can pick, like say I want all these teals to be orange and you do that and it changes the color. You're gonna see it a lot better on the right side because there's less light over there. As you can see, uh, you get that cool little transition between sections right there, which is really neat. We also have all of these other scenes that you can do. Just like all the other Govi products that are coming out now, you have all these volcano things where now it looks like it's a volcano erupting. We have bloom and it just runs through all of these neat little things that you can have uh, set up. If you go to Aurora, it just cycles through whatever that is. You have, a, I believe, 64 different things that you can pick. They also have a do-it-yourself mode. All right, so you can do uh, very simple stuff, pirates chasing fade if you want. You can do your own do-it-yourself mode. Under effects, you just pick whatever effects you want. So say we wanna do chasing. Once you have that, you pick what colors you want. You can just pick yellow, orange, red, blue, purple, just whatever you want. You hit apply and then it will start the, the transition of chasing the lights up and down. They have a lot of different other do-it-yourself stuff, jumping, twinkle, stacking, a lot of different stuff that you can do and it gives you an opportunity to really be creative and do your own thing, which is one of the reasons I got these. It'll give my daughter the opportunity to set up these however she wants to set them up. Um, we have, I'm doing one other thing in here. I've already done LED lights for her desk and I wanna go ahead and get those lights and then there's some hexagon lights I want up here before I'll show you the entire effect of what the room looks like just all govied out. But these are pretty neat. I kind of like these. Again, they have sets that give you curves. So if you wanted to be able to curve around that mirror or around the door or something like that, 
you can get those and all of those are linked below. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy the light show. Hit, give us a like, give us a sub, uh, share us, and use the links below. That really helps us out. And we'll see you next time on House Jake's Gaming. <laughs>